In the old days, they took a ship to the coast and then they overwintered before they set out for the pole. Nowadays, you fly in to a place called Patriot Hills and it's a natural strip of ice, blue ice, that's formed by these winds that scour out this landscape. So you land in this great big Ilyushin, which is a monster four-engine jet airplane. I mean, it's a huge big Russian beast. You hit this ice and it's like, you think in that moment you've made a wrong decision and it's your end is a few seconds away. I mean, it's a loud crashing landing and you finally get out. We've just touched down in Patriot Hill, so we officially in Antarctica. <laughs> Man, that's, that's an insane landing. Eh? More noise than you'll hear in about a year. So we land on what? We've just landed on a strip of natural blue ice. It's like as hard as diamond and slippery as an ice rink. We landed about 350, 400 k's an hour in this Russian Ilyushin and uh, slowly, slowly skidding to a halt. <laughs> it's insane. The problem is they can only fly that plane in when the weather's great. So your first experience of Antarctica is a perfect day and you land and you climb up and you think wow it's minus seven degrees clear sky you think this ain't gonna be so bad. Alright talk to me Alex what's happening here? We just climbed up the Yushin. So we're on we're on blue ice. It's about minus 15. It's about as good as it gets. Within hours Clouds roll in, winds start pumping, and you know, actually, you're in a very hostile part of the planet. 